We're moving towards greater transparency and understanding of what genuine climate positive shifts translate into. That also means in some cases, what used to feel virtuous and guilt reducing has now been found wanting. I'm Annie Hood. Hello and welcome to Well Intel Daily. This is the podcast that showcases why wellbeing culture matters for you and your business. One might say that it's becoming harder than it used to be to be an ostrich, to stick your head in the sand or cram the problem that you've got into a cupboard never to be opened again. Any companies that have stretched reality to make inconvenient truths more bearable may be feeling a bit more vulnerable now. Vera is a non-profit, world-leading organisation that specialises in carbon offsetting for large companies such as Shell, Disney, Gucci and many more. There's been a nine-month joint Guardian investigation into the efficacy of what Vera have been doing and they found that the carbon offset credits they were using to be largely worthless, in other words, making no difference whatsoever to carbon emissions, to lowering carbon emissions. Vera responded saying the claims were untrue because the investigation was based on studies that used a synthetic control. Now that's only one study looking specifically at that one company. Many studies passed have also indicated that most offsets available on the market don't reliably reduce emissions. Now, what feels interesting here, I did a very, very small straw poll, is when push comes to shove, who has the most social capital or who will you trust the most? Who grabs your instinct for who you believe is simply telling the truth? The subject of social capital is going to become a much bigger issue, not so much if you've got it, of course, then it's of enormous value. But all those relationship networks that build shared values amongst people living and working in a particular way, in a culture that serves a more inclusive existence, is where so many conversations are going to land. And as it becomes more and more difficult not to face the reality of what's happening in the world, on the planet, the pressure on culture in business will dial up tenfold. So it may be timely to look again at policy, practice and priorities. Social capital and culture is going to be the centre of everything. Tomorrow, something quite personal. I'm from the North East, where there has been a bit of a political leadership upset. Do follow, subscribe, share and review and of course, be well.